Hey, hello, hello. In this part, we will look at AWS Amplify. It is important for Solution Architect Associate as well as Solution Architect Professional certifications. So welcome to the video five of this playlist. Please hit the subscribe and the like button. Subscriptions matter a lot for YouTubers. So please help me with your subscriptions. Let's jump in Amplify. What is Amplify? It is a full stack web and mobile development app. It is easy to start, easy to scale. Why do we say easy to start? See, in the AWS world, whenever we say easy to start, that means the first code, you don't have to write. We have ready-made code templates, which can be leveraged to easy to start. And easy to scale is everything is scalable on cloud on AWS. So if you need certain applications to cater to 100 users, you can create it. If you want it to scale up to 100,000 users, you can do it. To 1 million users, you can do it. It will scale up, it will scale down. Let us quickly understand Amplify. What it does is... So using Amplify, you can create a backend, you can create your app, you can manage the users and content to uh, coming to your app, and you can extend your use cases by using other AWS services. Fantastic, like right? too good to be true. Hey, but what the hell is Amplify really? You know, in today's world, if you are looking at full stack developer requirements on various websites, you will see they want a full stack developer. And if you see the skills they need, uh, a plethora of skills all in one person. We know that is a bit unfair and many times project managers or, or hiring managers, they end up getting people who knows some of those things, not all of them. So let us eliminate that complexity. If you want to eliminate that complexity in the AWS world, you use Amplify. In layman's world, if you are doing a full stack development, you will in, uh, install a lot of softwares. Maybe you install Python or JS and you have your notebooks and so on. Don't worry about those things. Don't worry about writing the code from the scratch. Use Amplify, use Amplify. So even the hiring managers, managers, project managers, etc. you do not need to you know, hire a full stack developer with all those plethora of skills if you are already using Amplify on your projects. So what does it do? It lets you, it lets you create front end. It lets you create mobile and web development, okay? So that is how useful Amplify is. It integrates with wide range of applications. It integrates with, for example, databases, some S3 storages, security, it is highly secured and so on. And you can create your mobile apps using this software. JS is something which, or Node.js is something which is very useful in nowadays for, uh, for full stack developers. If you want to make any changes, you can add, you can use the UI and do it. Or you also have a CLI option. You can use the CLI and you can still achieve those things using code. But my friend, if you are not very much acquainted with the code, do not worry, do not worry. You can still use the GUI and use this application. Remember, Amplify is both forward and backward compatible. That means if you create certain softwares today using the latest features, it will still work for the old features and so on. It scales up with you if you need. For example, I told you if you have 100 subscribers today, it will scale. If you have 100,000, it will scale. And if you have 10, it will scale down. So it is having both scale up and scale down facilities. You can write these sort of codes. If you see, if you click on the left hand side here, if you click here or if you click here and so on, the code keeps changing. So that means it is having a template of the code. You don't have to write the code. The first code you will get ready made. You just have to select the template. So the point is underlying code is generated automatically. But if you think you are an expert and you want to leverage only your style of coding you can start from scratch as well nothing stops you from doing that be my guest waste your time you can build and connect your front-end ui with your back-end services you instead of doing one-time component code from scratch you can use ready templates like just like i told but if you want to still write from scratch you can do it you have a range of libraries okay let's talk about libraries you can use these libraries to integrate with your aws front-end application you can use the authenticate library, mind you, authenticate library to add authorization to your applications that you are building through Amplify. You can use the JJS library to pull the data from your API. Nowadays, everything is microservices based. There are API calls being made. If you want to pull the data using API, use JJS library. You can use the iOS library to see the list of files in the storage. The storage might be on iOS platform or other things. Now let us talk about deployment. Deployment is the key. You can use GitHub or AWS code commit, which is similar to GitHub and you can do your deployments. You can do your front end deployments. You can do your back end deployments or host a web app as well. Now let's talk about languages and platforms. It supports these platforms, iOS, Android, web, Flutter and so on. 
and for web apps there is a deep integration with react you know if you are if you are from this world from the uh, web development world you will understand for a, as a full stack developer react is a must angular is a must now in today's world how do we build applications we are either building applications i am talking about mobile applications to work with apple platforms ios platforms or android platforms okay these are the two widely used platforms so that is why amplify ios and amplify android are the two widely recommended ways to build the uh, applications which is ios app or android app it can leverage aws services now remember there is always something called studio whenever you are trying to build something there is something called studio where you are doing all the card chart and etc from a coding standpoint okay so similar similarly we have a studio here it is a visual interface for configuring and maintaining app and on the same lines we have a console what does console do console is a control center for your app inside the management console what will you see you can see all the front end environments back end environments for your apps that your apps are using whereas studio has a unique instance tied to each individual back end environment this this is the difference between console and studio now you know what this software or this service you can use it for hosting like just like your godaddy.com you see a lot of ad marinder singh dhoni uh, doing a ad for godaddy.com similar to that you can host your services here you can host static websites you can host web apps and etc and once that is the application is built the app is deployed and hosted on amplify app.com subdomain this is important huh? this goes to amplify app dot subdomain this will be asked in the solution architect associate and professional certification now security is of utmost importance and solution architect associate and professional will have questions with security always remember that your amplify web hosting it generates a free https on all sites and ssl certificates are generated through the certificate manager now can i use password protection for deployments yes you can do that this is a common standard practice even in the non cloud world this is how we used to do it okay now let us talk about the price how costly it is or how cheap it is you know amplify web host hosting it is priced with two features you can either use the build and deploy feature or the web hosting feature for build and deploy you will be charged 0.01 cents i mean it's like 1 cents per minute and uh, for hosting feature it is per gb this is the price okay now people might ask oh what about me i don't want to pay something and do some free trial i want free trial can i do it can i do it yes you can do it you can use a free usage tier there is a free usage tier you can use that once you sign up you will receive 1000 1000 build minutes per month okay every month and you can build and deploy small small applications and you will get 15 you will get 15 gb served per month and 5 gb data storage per month for the hosting feature if you are also hosting it if you host the website where it go where will it go it will go to the amplify.com subdomain this is what is important okay and from here you it will get cascaded to your custom domain wherever you want so friends please subscribe to this channel you will get many more such informative contents so this brings us to the end of this part you know this knowledge series is important for both solution architect associate and solution architect professional certification exams this was the video 5 you can watch the previous four videos on different services i will keep posting this content see you in the next part